to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler the mind or suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of trouble, and by opposing, end them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache, and a thousand natural shocks of flesh is there to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep. Perchance to dream. Ah, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come, when we have shuffled off this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's the calamity that makes so long life. For who would bear the wits and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pains of despised love, the insolence of office, the law's delay, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bodkin. For who would Perdale's bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others we know not of. Thus conscience makes cowardice of us all, and the native hue of resolution sicklied over with the pale cast of thought and enterprise of great pitching moment and disregard turns around and lose the name back.